What's going on guys? I've talked in the past a couple of times already about an app called Goodlock, which you can of course find inside the Samsung Galaxy App Store. And what Goodlock does is it basically extends a whole bunch of maybe experimental, you would call them, features on various different Samsung devices. And when you're on certain devices like Folds or Flips, there's often a lot of really good stuff on there. And we've just got a series of good luck module updates rolling out now that are adding some really cool functionality to your potentially fold or flip device. So I'm gonna go over some of the ones I've been able to use now, the ones I'm enjoying the most, and bring them to you today so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now there are a couple that I will mention here that have not rolled out yet, so you may not be able to access them yet, but it should be happening very, very soon. So let's start off here with one that I am probably the most excited about. It's the ability to actually change your app drawer from a horizontal scrolling list to a vertical one. Every phone I use is vertical on my Samsung devices. It's horizontal. When I move back and forth, it drives me absolutely out of my mind. So let's take a look at that here now. I should quickly note before we get going here on your Samsung device, if you want to install GoodLock, simply go to your Galaxy store, hit your search button, search for GoodLock, and that is going to be your guy there. Simply install that and everything you're going to see from there will be inside this app. Once you're inside the app, you'll see download buttons next to each individual module that you're going to install. If you see something that you want to use, click install and there you go. So currently we've got my Z Fold 2 here and my wife's Z Flip 3 here on the right. And if we open up Good Lock on both of these particular devices, we'll look at what we've got here. So for this first one, we're going to go to the Home Up module. You'll see them there on both of these. But there's one difference here. My Z Fold does not have this yet. My wife's Z Flip does. If we go here into Home Screen, you'll see App List here. And if we toggle that on and let's go back home and let's look at the app drawer, you will see as it has to reload here the first time because it's the first time it's uh, been in this new format, you'll see it's much quicker afterwards that it is now a vertical setup. And if you compare that to what we have here on the Z Fold where it is horizontal, I just think that's awkward because you swipe up to get to it. So you want to just keep swiping, but that just dismisses it. So you have to go the other direction. I don't like it. It's terrible. I think that this is a much better setup, but sadly, if we replicate the same thing here, we do not have that just yet. It is fully updated, but that feature is just not there yet on the Z Fold, but it should be rolling out pretty soon. So this next one is quite odd. If you go over here to Family and you click on Sound Assistant and scroll down, you'll actually see something that says Voice Changer. And when this is enabled and you are doing anything, you're filming, you're using anything that, that is going to activate your microphone, you actually have the ability to change or to modulate your voice as you see here. Let's try one of these out. This is a sound test for Voice Changer. This is a sound test for Voice Changer. This is a sound test for a voice changer. This is a sound test for a voice changer. I don't know exactly why you'd want to, uh, to use this or do this, but it's there now if you should choose to do so. So another one here that's very important potentially on, on a rather large device like the Z Fold is going to be one hand operation, which I believe used to be a thing and then it wasn't a thing and now it's back again. I believe it is under family again. You should see one hand operation plus. And it allows you to customize either left side or right side. You can take your picks. See how they're both highlighted. I've got mine on the left side. Basically, you can customize what different actions are going to do. So straight right is going to be a back key, just like normal. But you can have up at a diagonal opening up your recents or really whatever you want it to be. You can see here all the different options for what you can make this thing potentially do. Looks like I'm all the way at the bottom already. You can basically apply whatever you want to these different gestures as I show you what sort of different things you've got here. One-handed mode is obviously great to have. So you can put that there and have that swipe bring you into one-handed mode if you find that to be easier than the down swipe at the bottom, which you might. But at any rate, you can customize this however you want, and I do think that it's actually quite useful. And there's some really interesting stuff here, like quick tools, 
which brings up this little interface here, which can be quickly utilized to do, to do all sorts of fun things. And of course, it does have that new One UI 4.0 look, making it fit in much better. Another module that's getting some look here is one called Nice Shot. And my favorite thing that it's adding is simply a delete button immediately there anytime you take a screenshot. So if I take one here now, you'll see right down here, there is a delete button already there. So if you accidentally take a screenshot, you can just immediately delete it again. You'll also see some options here for the screen recorder because with Samsung Screen Recorder, you can actually capture your selfie camera while you're recording the screen. Now you can actually make the background color transparent, change the size of the video, basically do all kinds of customizing on that selfie camera capture, which is really nice to have. And the last feature that I wish I could show you here, but I actually can't because it's not rolled out yet, is something for the Z Flip 3. Apparently they're going to add a full app launcher that can be run on the cover display. This will be part of the Multistar app, but at time of recording, that update has not rolled out. Rest assured when it does happen, I will steal my wife's phone again and we will record that as well and bring that to you. Guys, thanks for making it to the end of today's video. If you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing so you don't miss more stuff just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.